least 6,000 people in Springfield are without power. City Utilities says it will likely take a couple of days to get the lights and the AC back on for everyone in the city. But power is not the only issue crews are facing. Color 10 Cindy Moran is live in Springfield taking a look at the damage. Bailey and Steve, you guys mentioned it, those high winds taking out trees, and that's the case here at this house off of Locust Street. You can see this tree branch completely snapped, just nearly missing this house here, but it took out the power and cable with it. City Utilities says it will take a large effort to get debris cleaned up and the power back on for everyone. This is the largest storm outage event that we have had in the past eight to ten years. The sun bringing to light the damage done to neighborhoods following Sunday night's storm. Trees splitting and taking power lines with them and leaves covering the streets. It was like, it like a freight train for a while. I mean, it was just like really blowing, hard, hard wind. Doug Manning just moved to Springfield from Las Vegas. We don't have a whole lot of big trees or some stuff, stuff like, that, like that. You get some uh, dirt devils, dust devils, whatever you call them. Um, not, not, not with the amount of wind we had last night. Manning is not the only one surprised by Mother Nature. This was not your normal summer evening and nor your normal storm. City Utilities says the first power outage was reported at 11.30 p.m. with crews rolling in shortly after. At the peak of the storm, we had approximately 15,500 electric customers. Our best estimate for full restoration to the majority of our customers is going to be about 48 hours. Electric and tree crews from Colorado, Arkansas, and Iowa are coming to help get the lights back on, in addition to the crews already out. We got about 25 to 30 storm calls waiting on us, so uh, we're going to be pretty busy this week with uh, storm work. Cherokee Tree Care spent most of the morning breaking down a fallen tree in the Millwood neighborhood. Half the tree was already on the ground playing in the road for us, which made it a lot quicker for us. It took us about all of an hour and a half this morning, but sometimes it could take upwards of five hours. With triple-digit temperatures possible this week, CU understands the importance of working quickly. There's never a good time for an outage, but in the middle of the heat wave of the summer, it's, it's life-threatening. The health department says there are cooling centers open for those without power. You can find a list of places you can cool off on our website, ozarksfirst.com. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Color 10 News.